Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Al Majid from Wamda, Saudi Arabia. With me today is Sara Al Hamidi from Dimam, Saudi Arabia. Sara is the co-founder of an upcoming project called Standing O. Hi, Sara. How are you? Hello, I'm fine. Thank you. Sara, could you please explain to our viewers what is Standing O? Standing O is a web-based uh, crowdsourced software. It's an online software that would help people practice their presentation skills, and uh, it would give them the assessment. Analyze your volume, tone, pitch to make a perfect presentation and overcome stage fright. And what inspired you to come up with this project? Well, I see a lot of not so great presentations in uh, Prince Mohammed University where I teach, and I've seen a lot of them, especially with the English language, because English is a second language here in Saudi, and they're not very capable of speaking the language naturally, so. Their presentation usually does not go very well. And why did you choose the name Standing O? Uh, a standing ovation is basically the ultimate result that you can get from a from public speaking in general or any performance that you would um, have. And I think a standing ovation is what everyone aims for at the end of their motivational speech or presentation or performance or whatever. And to build on that, in your project in Standing O, do you plan to have like how do you plan to give feedback to the users? Is it through avatars, or are you going to use another method? Well, technically, um, we're going to start off with videos. It's very because we're we're building this software with um, under a Google Hangout for the time being. You mean you're and using the API mainly, for Google Hangout? Yes, the a sorry the API for Google Hangout and. Uh, you will see the actual audience from their homes on video, on screen. We can have up to 10 participants or 10 viewers watching your presentations, and you would actually see the person. In the future, we're planning to have avatars for whoever does not want to show them their face or their presentation and just want the voice to be there. And what market segment are you focused on for your launch project? Um... I guess our target audience would be university students because they are the most people that suffer from presentation skills or bad presentation skills and they need improvement. Uh, our next target audience is corporations, especially with uh, new employees that would help improve and develop their presentation skills. Uh, have you made any partnership or spoke with any of, for example, the universities that are available in the Eastern province about this project? Yes, we don't have any partnership yet. The software is still under development, so we're not at that stage. But we are testing it on a sample students from Prince Mohammed University. We're trying to replace the oral presentation class with Standingo, and we're going to see what the result may be. And can you tell me to create, like, it seems that it's a very complicated project with a lot of research that have to go with it, a lot of development, a lot of software development. What's your current team structure like? Um, our team, uh, we have the technical group, which is um, the group that works on programming, coding, and building the software itself. We have the design group, and we have the business group in the team itself. So we have people from all majors in life, in all the tracks of life. We have engineers, designers, um, computer scientists, and I think I got most of them, <laughs> and business business major. And um, have you been approached by any, uh, any organizations to fund this project, or are you like funding it through angel investing and then moving on to ask for venture capital? Um, so we, we still don't have a prototype, a functional prototype. We're aiming to have um, a prototype that does all the services that we aim to provide in the future and test it on Prince Mohammed University students. Then we would pitch into venture capitalists and ask for funding. And as a Saudi female entrepreneur, what challenges did you face while like, going through the process of coming up with the idea, moving it into like translation phase, and now you're in the implementation phase of that? idea itself what challenges did you face um i have a feeling it will not yet because we didn't reach the stage where we meet venture capitalists and we meet people who are interested in in pitching in or in funding this project and i do have a feeling a strong feeling 
being a female Saudi entrepreneur is not going to be easy. <laughs> All right, Sara, thank you very much for your time. It was a pleasure talking to you. Thank you very much.